If you're seeing the Safari cannot open because the address is invalid error on your iPhone, it can be quite annoying. This issue typically occurs due to incorrect URLs, network problems, or corrupted data. Here are the steps to troubleshoot and resolve the problem. So, let's get started. Solution 1. Check the URL of errors. Ensure that the website address you entered is correct. Look for any typos or unnecessary characters in the URL. Try typing the address again or use a different link. Solution 2. Clear Safari cache and data. Open settings on your iPhone. Scroll down. Tap apps. Scroll down and find Safari. Scroll down and select clear history and website data. Confirm your action by tapping clear history and data. This helps remove any corrupted data that may be causing the error. Solution 3. Restart Safari and your iPhone. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen to open the app switcher and find Safari in the list of open apps. Switch up on the Safari app preview to close it. Now restart your iPhone. Reopen Safari and try accessing the website again. Solution 4. Check your internet connection. Swipe down from the top right corner to access the control center. Ensure that you are connected to Wi-Fi or cellular data. If there are issues, enable airplane mode for 10 seconds, then turn it off. Switch between Wi-Fi and cellular data to see if the problem resolves. Solution 5. Disable VPN or proxy. Open settings on your iPhone, scroll down and tap General. Scroll down and tap VPN and Device Management. Toggle off VPN if it's enabled. VPNs can sometimes block access to certain websites. Solution 6. Reset network settings. Open settings on your iPhone, scroll down and tap General. Scroll down to the bottom and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Select Reset and then tap Reset Network Settings. This will reset your network settings including Wi-Fi passwords but won't delete your data. By following these steps, you should be able to fix the Safari cannot open because the address is an invalid error on your iPhone. If the issue persists, consider reaching out to Apple support for further assistance.